Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about cloth simulations and how we can start to sculpt character clothing using cloth simulations. So in Blender, cloth simulations and clothing simulating isn't as refined as in other specific programs like Marvelous Designer or Clo3D, but you're still able to, with a little bit of care, get pretty solid results. Okay, so let's get started real quick. I have this mannequin guy and I'm gonna give him a t-shirt real quick. Um, and so I'm gonna start with adding just a plane. I'm going to rotate that plane, whoops, rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. And one thing cloth simulation needs is geometry. So I'm gonna start by just cutting it in half and then deleting this half of the plane. I'll kind of adjust this and scooch this up a little bit further. Okay. If I add an empty and then I'll add a mirror modifier and use the empty as the axis. This way, anything I do to this side of the cloth will automatically be done to the left-hand side as well. And then I'm going to add a subdivision surface and use a simple subdivision and just give myself a little bit of geometry to work with. And I'll apply that. So now I have some geometry and I'm going to really quickly kind of block out the shape of basic t-shirt. I'll delete these faces and then maybe these two here for the neck hole. And then I'm just going to kind of scooch some of the stuff so that it covers the arm kind of uniformly. Okay, so I have my t-shirt kind of blocked out here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these faces. I'm going to extrude that so that my entire character torso is being covered by the shape. Now I have face orientation checked and that kind of indicates what the normals are looking like on my model. You can see everything's red. That means the normals are flipped in a way that I don't want. So I'm going to select everything and click Shift N and that should flip my normals and kind of turn them into what I'm looking for a little bit more. So the next step we need to do is we need to cut out where we want the holes of our shirt to be. So if we take a look, this portion, this portion, and then under the body as well, we can delete those faces because a t-shirt's not gonna have any fabric there. But you can also see, since we're using the mirror modifier, we have faces going all the way down our cube as well. So if we just select those guys and delete them as well, that should work out well. Now the last thing we have to do before we start the simulation is we need to indicate where we want the shirt to be sewn. Basically all of these side panels here, we want those to shrink and kind of sew the, the fabric pieces together. So I'm gonna select all of these as well and then I'll click X and then instead of deleting faces, I, I'm going to delete only faces. And that should keep these edge lines there and those are going to guide the simulation as it shrinks this, this mesh together. Okay, so we have the shirt and now we're ready to start simulating and turning this into fabric. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to select our character body and we need to add a collision physics modifier to that body because we want the fabric to hit against it and form base on the body. And the only things we need to change under the collision are the thickness outer and inner. Basically what that does is it it creates kind of a force field around the body. And so if we bring the thickness outer lower and keep the, th maybe even bring it a bit lower, it will reduce that force field of our um, body object and make it look a little bit more realistic. Now with that kind of all figured out, let's select our cloth object and then under our physics properties, click cloth. And there are a couple things we need to change here. The first thing we need to change is the cloth steps. This will vary somewhat based on the scale of your objects, how complicated your mesh is. Generally, I like to keep this around 10. And if we scroll down to shape, we need to enable sewing and we need to change the shrinking factor. Again, this varies based on your scale. For this one, I'm going to change it to negative 0.2. That way the fabric will shrink in on itself and go around the body. Um, and then under object collisions, I'm gonna bring the distance down. Um, that will make the collisions a little bit more realistic. And under self collisions, I'm gonna bring that all the way down too. Again, it will just make it a little bit more realistic. 
And then under collisions, the quality, I'm gonna bring that to 15, cool. So with all of that changed, let's try and simulate this real quick and see where we're at. So if we click play, you can see it does a pretty good job, albeit pretty low, low res, but it's a good start. One thing I do want to change is I wanna change this neckline a little bit. So we can just kind of come back here and modify this neckline. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this vertice and then I'm gonna come up here to proportional editing. That way if I kind of scroll to change this fall off wheel, I can manipulate that neckline how I want. Cool. Let's try and simulate that again, see what happens. It's a little bit better. Let's push it a little bit further. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with that for now, but I might actually tighten up these sleeves a little bit. So if I click on X-ray, just so I'm getting all of these vertices and just push these up a little bit, maybe these ones down a little bit. It's also helpful to look at how cloth is, cloth patterns are made. That can be really helpful. Just get to get a sense for how this, this plane should look. But I'm gonna stick here for now, see how that works. So we get this pinching up here, and I think it's because there's a difference in kind of how this, this front neckline connects to this back neckline. So I'm going to manipulate that a little bit. Again, take your time with this portion, just so you're getting what you're looking for. Okay, let's give that a shot. Okay, I, I like that. I think that's, that's good. Now, again, I mentioned that this is kind of low poly, and that's part of the process. We need to slowly build up complexity so that we can get the shape we want from this cloth simulation. And so I'm going to take the shape and then I'm going to apply the mirror modifier and the cloth modifier. And now we just have the static t-shirt. And this is a great time to kind of do some post-processing on the shirt just to clean it up a little bit. Because for one, you see we have these holes in the side where the sewing didn't perfectly combine everything together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to edit mode and select everything. And if I go to the search tab and search for fill holes, and again, you can go to mesh and clean up and find it as well. I'm just gonna click that and that should fill up. You can see it's filling up all of these holes that, are, that, has, that have four sides to them. So here we are, we have our kind of low resolution shirt, but we wanna add a little bit more detail to that. So we're going to re-simulate this on the character's body and also add some posing information so that we can create this cloth on a character that's not just in a T-pose. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pose this character how I want it to end up pose. And so I'm not gonna to be too fancy with that. You see, if I come down to my timeline, I have this keyframe on the T-pose. If I just bring that one more keyframe over and put a keyframe on all of my bones. I can scrub over to maybe frame 30 and I can start to pose my character how I want. Let's just say, let's say I want my character just pose in a basic pose. Again, you could put your character in a sitting position if you wanted, but I'm gonna keep my character about here. Then I'm going to add another keyframe to all my bones. And so my character will animate to that position. Okay, so now if I click on my shirt and I come back to my physics panel and click cloth again. I'll add another cloth simulation to my character. I'm gonna bring the quality steps back up to 10 and I'm not going to enable sewing because we don't have anything to sew. I'm gonna bring my collisions quality up to 15 again and the distance for the object collision down and the self collisions, oops, self collisions distance down as well. So if we simulate this and see my shirt gets deformed based on the, the pose I have. Now, you can see it gets a little bit scrunched. So I'm gonna add a little bit of geometry to this shirt just so that it deforms in a more natural way. So if I come over to my modifiers and I add a subdivision surface above my cloth simulation, so it enables the subdivision surface before it enables the cloth, you can see gives me a little bit more of a natural shirt deformation. And you can go as detailed as you want, and the more subdivisions you give it, the more realistic your deformations are gonna be, but it will take a little bit longer of a time. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it there, and got some messiness here. 
But let's apply the subdivision surface and the cloth and let's jump into sculpting. So we have a fairly decent simulation. It's giving us some good folds and increases. Now, if we come over to sculpt mode and maybe bring in the smooth brush just to fix some of this, just to fix some of my arm cloth, it's just going to clean up some of those folds, maybe bring the grab brush to bring some of the cloth out a little bit more. I'm also going to come over to object mode and click shade smooth. That will improve some of the shading a little bit more. But you see with a little bit of sculpting, we can get a really, really good cloth effect. Again, I could even bring like a draw sharp brush in and just, oops, maybe not that strong. Add a few more folds in here. I mean, you see there, there is some intersecting here. I'm not going to fix that yet. I'm going to see if this next step kind of helps with that. So I have my shirt. I like the folds and how it's sitting on my character's body. Now I'm going to select my shirt object and I'm going to search for the solidify modifier. That will just give us a little bit more, a little bit more thickness to our, our shirt. And you see it's, it's adding thickness on the inside of the shirt. In order to get rid of some of these kind of pockets here, I'm going to see if I can reverse that and just have it give us a little thickness pushing outwards. That's a little too thick. Let's add another zero there. That's looking good. So it looks a little bit more like the thickness of the shirt. And you can still see there's some, po there's some of our body poking out. So I might come back to sculpt mode Grab the grab brush and pull parts of this out a little bit more. Cool. Awesome. So you can see it's not too hard to get pretty solid clothing effects in Blender, but it does take a little bit of post-processing and, and finagling in order to get exactly the effect you want. Cloth simulations, especially in Blender, shouldn't be taken at face value. Um, sewing cloth on a character should be the first step that you use to add effects like subdivision surface, solidify, sculpting effects in order to get your, your clothing mesh exactly where you want it to go. So that's all I have for this video, guys. Thanks for taking a watch and hoping you guys make something cool with this. Thanks. Bye.